Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again with a video. Now, this video right here takes place at some McDonald's. What McDonald's the hell if I know? Maybe you all might see it on your local news and you can chime in in the comment section and let us know exactly what, what McDonald's was hit up. But anyway, we have this guy who pretty much decided to do the five finger discount through the drive through. He didn't decide to go in the in the McDonald's. You know, he figured that he can get it the uh the flyway, making money on the highway, you know, balling, that type of shit. But anyway, so he pulls up to the damn uh I guess the you know the the speaker thing where you can order your food from, not realizing it's a camera in a lot of them speakers that you're speaking to. You know, when you're looking at the menu, they have the speaker right there. You better be watching because there's cameras everywhere around that these people ain't slipping no more because there's too many people getting killed and robbed working at these fast foods uh, these fast foods places. And anybody that work at fast food, man, look, especially at night shift, be careful, you know, because I used to work at Burger King when I was 18 and uh, I worked all kind of hours, but it was mostly in the evening and night. And one thing about it, thank God we never got robbed, but you have to be careful and stuff because you might just wind up running up on some asshole well, this an uh, asshole like this rolling up in your spot like this guy right here instead of going to get a job and take care of himself he want to live life on the edge you know he he want to uh not know the ledge he want to live life on the edge and this is what you have a huge problem with this generation today they want everything what we call microwavable they want it right then and there instant they don't want to work for it they don't want to uh make preparations and plan for it in the future like five years from now they don't want to go get no education try to better themselves the only thing they want to do is take your shit you know and this is very sad that we have these youngsters running around basically just lost you know they were they would rob me just like they would rob you because if he's bold enough to pull up in a mcdonald's like that with no mask on and i'm not trying to teach people how to damn um uh, rob and stuff because hell i never robbed nobody because you don't get no stripes from robbing nobody i never had to rob nobody i can make money just using my mind you know that's that's my gift and also uh people got a little money but anyway uh that ain't the point the point is i never had to rob nobody there's a lot of people that parents have money and they still end up doing stupid shit, selling drugs and robbing. But instead of him getting up off his ass and taking that same amount of energy that he could have took robbing places and making preparations and stuff, he could have took that same energy and waited till daylight and went out there and got a job. He's already in a vehicle now. Is the vehicle stolen? I don't know. Is it some is it some uh little chick he's smashing? The hell if I know. But the point is, he's mobile. He has transportation, which means he could have got from point A to point B. But instead of him trying to be a man a young man he thinks that he's d man and that's the problem that we have with a lot of people because i might be speaking to somebody like that right now well you think that you getting by and that you winning and not realizing that you digging a ditch for yourself because anytime that you have this frame of mind that you're gonna go out here and just take people's shit trust me it's, it's gonna come a day it's gonna wear off and you're gonna run up in the wrong person's house or in the wrong business and they're gonna blow your ass off you know what i'm saying your ass gonna be laying on one side of the room your body your torso gonna be laying on a, on the other side so if all that's worth it to you all go right ahead but this got to be the most dumbest damn criminal well, one of the most damn dumbest criminals in America right now. No wonder people look at Americans and call us stupid and, and crazy and stuff. You know, no wonder nobody don't want us in their damn country because they know we get down for the get down, whether it's good or bad, you know. But this young fella right here, if he don't slow his road, tell him he's going to meet his maker. You know, all bullshit aside. And then when he pulled up to the drive through instead of him, you know, instead of him just going ahead and just doing it right then and there, he tried to be real slick like this woman wasn't going to see him. You would have just did better, just just doing what you had to do right then and there because you're wasting time you know what i'm saying like on heat say what you got uh 15 seconds if any, you can't get away from some 15 seconds something that you love you, you can't leave it you know that's how you get caught up so he he was way past his time limit but these guys right right here think that this is the way to really live their life and they show this and to, to younger kids like what we used to see on TV and we used to think before we come into our consciousness and before we was really a woke, we like, oh yeah, that's cool, cuz that's cool stuff because remember, if I ask you all a lot right now, what's one of you all favorite movies? A lot of you all might say Scarface, a lot of you all might say New Jack City, Boys in the Hood, everything to do with uh being violent, doing wrong, nothing with, with being right. You know, I, I bet you if you ask somebody right now what's their top three favorite movies, you're going to get at least one of those titles in there but instead of this guy taking up on himself to not even put himself in that situation because you know 
this is why the jails and prisons are filling up also it's not just because people are targeting you yes you do have a target on your back but at the same time you're making it easy for them because you got to think with your mind you know but it's sad though because it's like what 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 has happened psychologically to damage all these youth where everybody's doing the same damn thing and don't nobody want to hear no truth and see that's the problem today you can't tell these youngsters nothing like when i was coming up even though i'm not old by a long shot, but when I was coming up, when I was a little kid, I listened to everybody. You know, they used to tell me to get off and around them. I didn't want to hang with nobody my age. Never hung with nobody my age. Everybody I hung with was older, and any female I ever been involved with was older than me also, at least by a year or two or maybe three, because I, I never would deal with nobody with, on my age, you know what I'm saying? Because it was like, I'm not saying I'm so mature that I can't deal with somebody like that, but when I was younger, you know, I realized who could teach me something, it was the older people. And one thing they taught me was get out there and work for what you want. That's why I used to mow yards when I was young. That's why I used to uh, put signs up for people who's running for political office uh, with the little job training program association they used to have back then called JTPA, all this other stuff. But they don't even do that no more. Kids can't even get summer jobs no more. But this guy right here is not a kid. I was like 14, 15, and this is a grown ass man who's going down the wrong road of life and if he don't stop his way, somebody's going to give him his issue. And I ain't talking about this new issue of East Bay. I ain't talking about this new issue of the Jordans or nothing. I'm talking about a bullet in his ass or in his head because you're playing with your life, man. People out here got it too bad and too rough for, for to have people going around robbing them. That's the, that's the point blank. And one thing they, they do not play with is robbery, murder, and rape. Now, you can be a fool if you want to. You can be the drug charge for you could one of them damn charges right there. But anyway, let me know what you all think about this situation right here because I am so sick of seeing these guys, you know, thinking that they being hip, thinking they being cool. Because it's like, if you're going to do something, be good at it. That's what my mama told me. If you're going if you're gonna to do something, be good at it. I'm not telling you to go out there and be the professional like Lee Young, the movie, you know, with a hit man. He's professional. He does everything immaculate. No, what I'm telling you to do, if you, if you sit up here being stupid, you're not fully prepared. You need to be prepared to die that night because what would have happened if uh, police would have rolled up right behind him while he's doing that? They would have shot him down dead. You, you and I both know that right there. So you got to think about what you're doing all the way through. Don't think about just the shoes you're going to buy once you hit this lick. Don't think about uh, the places you're going to go once you get this money. No, you need to think about all the consequences. You know, uh, what will happen if, if, if somebody shoot me? What is this or that? But anyway, let me know what you all think. Baby, that's too advanced for a lot of people. But let me tell you this right here. When you when you play a stupid game, you get a stupid prize. And trust me, they're going to have his face all over national news now because it's not like it was before this internet thing. This internet thing, you cannot do nothing. Because once you once you do something, you can piss in the street. They'll have your picture all over America. Everybody be blogging about it. Wendy Williams, uh, everybody. You know, we all be talking about it and stuff. So anyway, let me know what you all think about this video. If you like it, push the, uh, push the like button. If you like, subscribe. Till next time, stay blessed and get up off your lazy ass and go get a job because ain't nothing, worried, ain't nothing worse, I mean, than a man who's sorry and don't want to work. And a woman too, also, because when you're grown, it's time to be grown. Get up off your funky ass and go get a job and stop trying to take people's shit. Because, trust me, gangsters don't live that long. You ain't never heard that song by Scarface and Ice Cube? Anyway, if you haven't, go check it out. Till next time, it's been your boy Trey. Keep it real. I'm out.